All right, so here we're going to be looking at exponents, what they are, how they react, uh, that type of stuff, just giving a, a brief introduction to, uh, to exponents. Uh, so a power um, has two parts. It has a, a base and uh, an exponent. Now the exponent here, it's a 5, is telling you how many of the base you have being multiplied together. So in this case here, 5 one halves being multiplied together. Now, a fancy word for saying things being multiplied together is the word factor. So we have five factors of a half being multiplied together. Another way of looking at that is uh, b to the x power. So using kind of formal language, that's going to be x factors of b. But again, the way we kind of think about that is I'm going to have x number or x amount of b's all being multiplied together. So things being multiplied, those are factors. Again, on this one, b is the base right there, and then the exponent is x. x is the exponent. So let's go ahead and look at a couple examples here. We have uh, 8 to the 4th power, 8 to the power of 4, 8 to the 4th. Uh, the big number is the base. In this case, 8 is the base. Now, the exponents, those are uh, up a little bit higher than the base, and they use a smaller font. It's a superscript. So uh, in this one here, 4 is the exponent. Pretty straightforward there, not a difficult example to do. Now, we can rewrite this in what's called expanded form, and that's where you're using multiplication. You actually show it using all the multiplications. So, from our definition of a power, we're going to have four eights being multiplied together. So, there's one eight times two eights. Now, we have three eights being multiplied and four eights being multiplied. As long as we have one, two, three, four eights being multiplied, then that's what expanded form is. The other way that we can write most of these is standard form. And that's where we're just finding the value of the power. So you can use your calculator if you want, and you can actually type out one, two, three, four eights being multiplied, or use the exponent button on your calculator and do eight to the fourth power. It's 4,096. Some of these are gonna be smaller, and you can do them in your head. You might have some of them memorized. This one, probably a calculator one for most of us. Another example, 3x to the fifth power. So first question, what is the base? Now the base of your exponent is what is directly to the left of it. In this case, it's just the x. The 3 is not part of the base of the exponent. It's not part of the power. And then the exponent, again, that's that little number. It's the superscript. It's up, written up a little bit taller than the base is. So uh, 5 is the exponent there. Writing this in expanded form. So we're going to have a 3 and then times. So, so when we have the, the 3 and then the, the variable here next to it, it's implied multiplication. So there's going to be 3 times and then 5x is being multiplied. So here we go. So we have a 3 and now we're going to have 5x's. So times 1x times a second x times 3x's times 4x's and times 5x's. So we have a 3 times 5x's. 3 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x's. So pretty straightforward there. Now, if you're typing this in on a computer, that multiplication symbol is going to be the star button. So if you have the 10 key, that's between the divide and the subtract symbol. Um, if you have the, just, a, just the keyboard, no 10 key on there, like you're on a Chromebook or whatever, then that's above the 8 button. So shift 8 would also get you the, that star button there. But that's how you can type it in to a uh, computer if you're typing in answers that way. Uh, bonus example here, what is the base of, uh, in parentheses, 4x to the negative fifth power? Now again, from the last one, we said that the base is what's right to the left of the exponent, but this parentheses, that's a grouping symbol. So it's keeping the 4 and the x together. So the base in this one is 4x, whereas the last one with no parentheses, that was just x. All right, so now we're going backwards from what we were doing before. Last time we had it written as a power with the exponent. Now we have it written out as multiplication, and we're going to change it into exponential form. So pretty straightforward on this one here. We have one, two, three sevens being multiplied and two n's being multiplied together. So we'll start with the sevens. You kind of break it up into smaller chunks. So we have three sevens being multiplied. And again, we say it 7 to the third power, but the way we're thinking about it is three sevens being multiplied together. Now that we have the sevens, we can look at the n's here, and there's two n's being multiplied. 
So, so again, we say n squared and 7 to the third power, but the way we should be thinking about it is two n's being multiplied together. All right, here we're going to simplify 4 ninths to the second power. So how many 4 ninths are we having? We're going to have two 4 ninths being multiplied, or two factors of 4 ninths. So there's one factor of 4 ninths and a second factor of 4 ninths. So there's our one, two, 4 ninths being multiplied together. Now we are doing regular multiplication with fractions. So numerator times numerator, 4 times 4, 16, and then over. And then we're going to do, again, regular multiplication here, 9 times 9, 81. So if you are looking for like a shortcut type idea, the, the squared, the, uh, the power of 2 goes to the 4, 4 squared, 16, and then 9 squared goes to 81. So the numerator and denominator are both being squared. Um, and as far as calculations go, this isn't that tricky. And last example here, uh, so we have a bunch going on here. This is going to be order of operations. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Now these parentheses here, this P is talking about a grouping symbol parentheses. This parenthesis here is not really grouping symbol. This one's talking about multiplication. So we'll start with exponents. So I have a five to the second power. So that's two fives being multiplied together. So five times five, 25. So there's our exponents. Now we're gonna do multiplication. So we have a plus and then two times five. Uh, multiplication, that's going to make 10. And then we're done with all that. So now we have just the, the plus 4 remaining on there. We're all done with exponents and multiplication. Division, there's no division. Addition, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some of that. So here we go. So we can do uh, 5 plus 10. And normally with the, the addition, you just go left to right. So 25 plus 10, that's going to make 35. And then we still have the plus and the 4. So 35 plus 4 makes 39. And you can break this up into two steps like what we did here, or you can do it all in your head. 25 plus 10, that's 35, plus another 4, so that's 35, 36, 7, 38, 39. And there you go. You can do it that way as well. You don't have to write it out as a separate, separate, separate step there. Um, and just quick review there. For our powers, the base and the exponent, the exponent is telling you how many of the one halves, in this case the bases, are being multiplied. So five one halves being multiplied. Again, the main word for that, factor, five factors of a half, five one halves being multiplied. All right, have a nice day and uh, catch you on the next one.